hi what is the value of a given that you have a to the power of 100 plus a to the power of 50 equals 2. so let's have it to the solution so from here we have a to the power of we can simplify 100 as 50 times 2 plus a to the power of 50 equals 2. Then let us recall that when you have b to the power of m times n, this can be simplified as b to the power of m and parentheses to the power of n. Let us apply it here. We can have it as a to the power of 50 and parentheses to the power of 2 plus a to the power of 50 equals 2. So we have a to the power of 15 comma. So we can let a to the power of 50 equals k. So here will now be k in parentheses to the power of 2. Here will be k equals 2. So here we have k square plus k equals 2. So we have this as k square minus plus k minus 2 equals 0 by taking this one to here. Let us apply a quadratic formula where we are going to have k to be equals minus b positive or negative square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So from here we have k to be equals the b is the coefficient of k which is 1 so here will be minus 1 positive or negative root of 1 square minus 4 a is the coefficient of k square which is 1 c is constant which is minus 2 all divided by 2 times 1 so from here we have k to be equals minus 1 positive or negative root of 1 Minus times minus will be plus. 4 times 2 will be 8 divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus 1 positive or negative. Root of 1 plus 8 will give us 9 divided by 2. So from here we have k to be equals minus 1 positive or negative. Root of 2, sorry, root of 9 will give us 3 all divided by 2. So from here, let's say we have case 1. When we go with minus 1 plus 3 divided by 2, that equals k. But remember that k also equals a to the power of 50. So from here we have minus 1 plus 3 will give us 2 divided by 2 equals a to the power of 50. So we have Let's rearrange this. a to the power of 50 will be equals 2 divided by 2 will be equals 1. And so therefore from here, when we have this as, let's introduce log to both sides. a to the power, log of a to the power of 50 equals log of 1. Then remember that when you have log b to the power of m, this power m will come down to the base as this then multiply by log p. So from here we have 50 multiplied by log a equals log 1. So when you divide through by 50, 50, this man and this we cancel, we have log a to be equals log 1, we give you 0, divided by 50, and this equals 0. So from here, we want to eliminate this log. Let's take the exponent of both sides. So this man and this we cancel. So we have a to be equals e to the power of 0. Then e to the power of 0, remember that we say that any number raised to the power of 0, we always give us 1. So from here, we have a to be equals 1 as the first solution. Then let's also go along with case 2. Where we have k to be equals minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2. 
So from here, minus 1 minus 2, it gives us minus 4 divided by 2 equals k, and k equals a to the power of 50. So we have here to be a to the power of 50. When you arrange, minus 4 divided by 2 will give us minus 2. Then from here, let us introduce log to both sides. We have log a to the power of 50 equals log minus 2. From here, it is obvious that this will be 50 multiplied by log a equals log of minus 2. So from here, let the 5 to by 50. This and this we cancel. We have log a equals log of minus 2 divided by 50. But this negative will affect this log. We cannot, we cannot have the real solution. We can only have a complex solution. If you are to go with complex solution, so therefore we are going to have log of a equals log of 2 times minus 1 divided by 50. Then when we take the exponent of both sides, or let's do this, that from a complex solution, we have minus 1 to be equals i squared. So from here, we have log of a equals log of 2 multiplied by i squared, as this, divided by 50. So, to eliminate, to get a, let's take the exponent of both sides as this. Divide by 50. So, therefore, we have, so this man and this man we cancel, we have our a to be equals e to the power of log 2 times i squared divided by 50. So from here, this is a complex solution, but our solution a equals 1. Then to check, we have a to the power of 100 plus a to the power of 50 equals 2. When a equals 1, we have 1 to the power of 100 plus 1 to the power of 50 equals 2. Therefore, from here, 1 to the power of 100, believe me, to give you 1. This also will give you 1 equals 2. So from here, 2 equals 2. So far, the left hand side equals the right hand side. This implies that A equals 1 satisfy the problem given to us. If you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more master tutorial videos. Bye-bye. Plus 1 to the power of 50 equals 2. Therefore, from here, 1 to the power of 100, believe me, to give you 1. This also will give you 1 equals 2. So from here, 2 equals 2. So far, the left hand side equals the right hand side. This implies that A equals 1 satisfy the problem given to us. If you are new here and you find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more master tutorial videos. Bye-bye.